from uh, the appointment. Yes, uh, we are on the street to get reaction to have Mr. Mr. Matthew. Good morning, Mr. Matthew. Good morning, Mr. Matthew. Okay, let's look at uh, the reactions to uh, the appointment of security chief by uh, Paula Metzlubu. What's your take? Um, it's in two areas. Okay. The first area is not what you can give an appraiser or to see their performance while in office. But the second area has to do with um, the geographical, geographical spread which the country envisages. Or like the former administration that was not respecting the constitution in terms of appointments. Okay. So I think this one is more is fair. It reflects a federal character. It reflects federal character. We can see almost all the major general zones being accommodated. Okay. I well, think that is what the country envisages. It's it. another thing to see whether they are competent to perform in office. So until they start performing and perhaps come with their new ideas, we can start assessing them on that basis. When this uh, report came out, people were saying that uh, uh, the South Easterners were not really represented uh, at the appointment. Uh, but I think people are beginning to attribute um, or see uh, Ogala, yeah, Ogala, the chief of Naval Staff, Rear Admiral. as um, somebody from University. I don't know how it's basically, but it's on that basis of speculation and say it's balanced. If actually it's from any good state, we have seen somebody from the southwestern part of the country, not uh, not town part of the country, and all that. Then I think it's fair. Okay, from the appointment, do you think that security will not be an issue, as it were, in Paris regime? Uh, the only time you can determine whether security is an issue is when we start seeing their competence. And we can only see their competence when they assume responsibility. So uh, it's another thing to hail and, and applaud the appointment because of the grand spread. It's another thing to say whether they are competent. And the only way you can measure competence is when you give them time to perform. Okay, your appraisal is from the federal character aspect. Exactly. Then uh, knowing whether they are competent or not is based on their the performance. Their performance in office. Okay, let's look at the tribunal where the Labour Party brought uh, an Amazon engineer to testify in court. Uh, you see, for me, I think, uh, like I always maintain, it's good we are having this uh, issue challenge in court. But there are so many things we want the court to resolve. Particularly the position of INS before the election, interpreting the law, turning it to arbiter. We are not comfortable with that. We want the court of competent jurisdiction to do interpretations, interpretation to most of the areas, gray areas. Because I told you that the other time that in Lagos State, after the presidential election, before the governorship election, Labour Party in Lagos State and even in Apabo State took INEC to court to ask her to compare INEC to transfer the election result electronically for the purpose of governorship election in Lagos State and in Aquaba State. And cause sorry with them because you made the guideline and the guideline you made is in tandem with the electoral act and along the line you want to arrange your needs. So in the same vein, we want the court to determine all these issues and not INEC being a judge in all case. Okay, let's look at the federal government and labor setting up a minimum wage committee uh, for over eight weeks to look at. Labor is dead. They are setting up a committee. Labor is dead. Yes. As far as I'm concerned, we don't have labor. So you, we don't have labor. What they are doing. We don't have labor. Labor system exists after Shamala. Okay. It's clear. You had this, um, according to uh, NSC and TUC, you were bargaining. Suddenly, federal government announce the uh, price template for premium motor spirits. You ask the federal government to revert to the status quo and to Berlin so that we continue with negotiation. Federal government refused. Instead, went to industrial courts. Industrial court gave an order that they should suspend the strike. If their decision to suspend the strike was based on the decision of judgment of industrial court, I will not fault them. But they came out to tell Nigerians that, particularly TUC, the federal government, government has ceded to other demands. So I need to wonder, at the time you are telling government that you should pay your workers, um, your members, 200,000 minimum wage, minimum wage. Is, it, is it true now to say that the federal government have accepted or adjusted member, salary of uh, TUC members to 200,000 as minimum wage? I don't think that is true. So as far as I'm concerned, labor is dead in Nigeria. So that means there's no there's, there's nobody that can fight for I'm speaking my opinion. I'm speaking my opinion. And for the as far as I'm concerned, labor is dead in Nigeria.
Okay, so for the uh, for the few weeks that uh, Parliament has become the president, great him. Uh, in terms of this every appointment, I think it reflected the radical spread. I think he, he appointed it based on what the culture demand. But if you look at the, um, the report of Amnesty International that came, that came the other time, that over 120 persons have been killed under this administration, I think the president needs to buckle up. It means he's already failing in terms of protecting life and property. So we have a case because in it's not about the case in court. He is in the saddle. Because the constitution is unambiguous about the protection of life and property. Section 14, subsection B of the National Constitution as amended says that the security of Nigerians and their, and their welfare shall be, the, shall be the primary purpose of governance. So when you see Nigerians dying in their number at the mercy of non-state actors under the watch of a president, you cannot help but say he's failing in that area. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, that is the answer to no. President on... Um, no, we can continue. We can continue. We can continue. I have my brother, okay. Mr. 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 Chigozi. Good morning, Mr. Chigozi. It's a pleasure having me here. Okay. Uh, we, are, we are reacting to the appointment of uh, a security chief by the President, Bola Uh Okay. Well, uh, I think uh, to some extent, uh, there's some level of uh, balance uh, from where we are coming from. And, uh, but uh, what we don't know is uh, the, the, the quality or the capa capacity of those that were elected. Uh, it is not known. Uh, they are just like uh, black sheep, and uh, nobody knows uh, their capacity to man such offices. Except for Ibado, of course, uh, who is a. Uh, 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 an old face uh, other ones are new breeds and we hope that uh, we hope yes uh, everything uh, depends on hope otherwise uh, if you hope is that then everything you can't have anything out of it so we we do hope that these people will serve humanity in the first uh, place I'm not to serve the man who appointed them. So if they are coming to serve Chinibu, that would be a different thing. So we hope if they are not coming to serve the interests and protect the interests of Chinibu, but the generality of the Nigerian people. If that is the, the, the case, well, I may want to say congratulations to them, but if they are there to serve and protect the interests of Ahmed Bola Chinibu against the Nigerian people, well, I think uh, they are buying something they can chew. Let's talk about what concerns Nigerians now. We know that there is a 7.5% VAT on crude oil that is going to affect petrol. Although already we are buying 500 naira, we are having electricity tariffs that will be increased. Let's talk about what concerns Nigerians. Well, Nigerians have been in this mess and this uh, quagmire, but we are. They are chatting the way and uh, hoping that they will get out of this wood anytime soon. But uh, beyond my wishes, I think uh, the people must rise to hold the government accountable. Not until this is done, they will continue to take the people for granted. It is not done elsewhere in other civilized Western society. You can't just come up with any policy without considering the implication, economic and social implication or impact it might have on the people. Mostly when it will have to, when it borders on the safety and security of the people. So those harsh policies should be vehemently resisted by the people. And you cannot continue to rip up. You are just there by chance. Everybody could also be the president. So, but the fact you are there does not make you uh, the almighty. You are there to serve the people and act within the democratic uh, uh, arms of the law rather than taking things and loading it over to the people, not minding how they feel or, of course, uh, uh, any, everybody to himself and if you are dull let the devil taste you i think such mentality should be uh challenged we are not in a, in a banana republic we are not in a, 
in military uh, dictatorship. Otherwise, they are telling us uh, that is what they are known for. Okay, for that government labor set up minimum wage committee, are we going to trust the labor at this point in time? Not even in this state of Moribund. Nigeria is in the state of Moribund, is uh, in the state of insolvency. We are, of course, there is campaign for survival. No available resources to sustain the running of this country. So when a country comes to the point or any establishment comes to the point that you can no longer feed your bees conveniently and have something left to run the process, then you are dead. Economically, you are dead. And that's Nigeria is dead. Nothing is working. Then if you something is working, you should prove me wrong. See? Salary salaries have been, of course, uh, oh, look at what will be uh, OT of um, Dr. OT in, in Abia, State. Abia State was lamenting. You see, the backlogs of debt left by Ibazu, the former governor, is haunting him. You see, and those governors, before leaving office, they left with unimaginable largesses, I mean, uh, compensations. And they will still be placed in the payroll or pension or whatever uh, entitlement from the coffers of the state funds, which they looted to stupor. So, how many of the Nigerian states are viable? That is a fundamental issue. And considering the debt rates, you know that this is, if it doesn't kill Nigeria, Nigeria will die naturally. So, that is the reality. Mm -hmm. If the death profile did not kill Nigeria, Nigeria will die naturally. So the only thing they are doing now is to shift the burden on the masses, the masses that are already uh, crying, looking forward to most of this uh, burden to be lifted. And you are adding to the ones they have. So you either do want to kill the people to sustain Nigeria. How possible could that be? So uh, it's a fortune of time that will reveal. Okay, let's, let's look at the tribunal. Uh, again, Labour Party and their lawyers uh, class over poor materials. Of course, uh, that will continue to be the experience until everything is done and dusted. Uh, from the proceedings of yesterday, uh, even the presiding judge directed, uh, reprimanded the INEC legal counsels and directed them to inform their client that these delay tactics they are deploying to frustrate, of course, uh, the proceedings should be vehemently resisted. You cannot tell us that the documents you the announced, the result you announced, you can provide the document more than five, or uh, more than three months after the pronouncement of the election. Why? Because they have something they can defend. And they are trying to cover up. And uh, how long will that sustain that becomes a function of time? Even with this revelation by uh, the representative of uh, INEC uh, Cloud Engineer. Yeah, Amazon. Amazon Cloud Engineer. Amazon, yes, because INEC hosted the site on Amazon. It was a deadly blow to INEC and uh, APC. I You're don't lying. think uh, they will survive this. Not, no, 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 no medication can keep them on the path of recovery because that is the last straw. They can defend. It has been established that there is a deliberate and uh, intentional, deliberate and attempt and conspiracy to subvert the electoral mandate of the people. And this has been established yesterday. And uh, it is very clear now that 